All right, so he was once America's mayor, leading New York City's response to the 9-11 terrorist attacks, uh, experience that he would later use to mount a wildly unsuccessful presidential campaign in 2008. And before all of that, though, he was a hard-charging prosecutor taking on the mafia as the U.S. attorney for the esteemed Southern District of New York. But here's the thing. Since allying himself with Donald Trump in 2016, Rudy Giuliani's dissent has been nothing but swift. America's mayor has found himself on the other side of the law. In fact, Giuliani has now been indicted on 13 counts in Fulton County, Georgia, for trying to overthrow the 2020 election results in that state. He also shows up as a co-conspirator, co-conspirator one, in fact, in Jack Smith's January 6th indictment, which could lead to further charges down the line. And according to a new profile in New York Magazine, Rudy now finds himself indicted, isolated, and broke. Once the toast of New York, Rudy now spends his evenings broadcasting an hour-long internet show from his Manhattan apartment to, I guess, a couple of thousand viewers. His sole advertiser, Balance of Nature Vitamins, which the former mayor plugs in between his rants about Joe Biden and, yes, the deep state. I mean, oh, my goodness, you'd go on and on and on and on. Uh, no side effects to it. Nobody gets an overdose from taking vegetables. <laughs> this is very, very good for you. It, it's natural. It gives you incredibly big boost in energy you would not expect pretty much right away. Maybe two, three days. Uh, I don't know. It seemed to me right away. <laughs> uh, as David Friedlander writes in his profile, Giuliani was abandoned by virtually all of his remaining allies after he spread lies about the 2020 election, found a new crew populated by members of the far right MAGA base. Even uh, conversations with some of the most devoted Trumpists reveal a group who view the former mayor with a mixture of condescension and pity. His New York law license has been suspended. He has racked up an enormous amount of legal debt, and he is staring down the barrel of a 13-count criminal indictment with possibly more to come. What is next for America's mayor? Joining us now is the author of that piece, New York Magazine contributor David Friedlander. David, uh, thank you so much for being here. Incredible profile. Um, we laugh, but it's sad. We've seen American politicians fall from grace, but his has been an epic fall from grace. Um, and when you think about it, just as recently as 2016, this was a guy who was worth $100 million, but as you said, he is now indicted, isolated, and broke. How? I mean, operatic doesn't really seem to seem to cover it. Right. You know, I mean, this is like, I mean, he's hawking vitamins, you know, on, on a video blog. What he can get them in his mouth. <laughs> you, know, in, 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 you know, every evening from his apartment. I, you know, it's he reminds me, it's, he's King Lear on the Heath, right. just alone and isolated, and the winds are howling around him. So when you think about what has happened with um, some of the other lawyers, uh, close Trump confidants, and I would say Giuliani was probably inner circle at one point or the other, certainly in the 2020 election. Um, you look at Jenna Ellis, uh, Kenneth Chesbro. What does that portend for Rudy Giuliani? Now he's vulnerable in legal debt. Doesn't look like he's getting a lot of love financially or uh, morally from Donald Trump. It's not helping him raise any money. What happens to Giuliani? Does he flip on Trump? I mean, he says he's not. Of course, everyone says they're not until right. they do, right? So, you know, I don't know. I mean, Donald Trump is, is the reason for Rudy Giuliani's relevance. He sort of brought him back from the abyss, you know, after his, you know, presidential loss in 2008. So, I mean, he just, there's a loyalty there that's kind of hard to even fathom. When you think about the moment that it all went south for uh, Rudy Giuliani, or perhaps even specifically Rudy Giuliani with the relationship with Trump, can you, can you point to it? Is there a moment where, based on your reporting, you, you can see that relationship uh, nosedive? Yeah, I mean, I think it was, I mean, the, I mean <laughs> it sort of ended at the beginning, right? right? I mean, you know, he was kind of a reluctant Trump supporter in 2015, as a lot of people were. But then there was just nobody else returning Rudy's phone calls. You know, he was kind of losing relevance at the time. And Trump was like more than his meal ticket. He was a, his companion, his supporter. You know, the only way he was able to stay in the game kind of thing. Why, um, why do what he's doing now, Giuliani? Is, is it simply for the money, the show that he's hosting and the balance of nature uh, vitamins that he is promoting? I think he just can't help it. You know, right. like Rudy had this radio show, if you remember, mm -hmm. but back when he was mayor, where like people would call in and he would yell at them about their ferret 
pets or whatever else. <laughs> right. So this is kind of like a natural element for him. I mean, he loves this stuff. Just put him in front of a microphone and a camera. I mean, he'll just talk all night kind of thing. I think he just can't stop himself. Um, I have to ask you about some other uh, New York City news, and that is of the current uh, New York City mayor, Eric Adams, who has found himself in a little bit of a legal pickle, to say the least, um, in not... The investigation, the FBI now seizing his phones, part of an investigation uh, into possible wrongdoings by his uh, um, camp, one of his campaign staffers. What can you tell us about that? I mean, I mean it, it's just I, such a significant development. It's a remarkable story. I mean, you know, we, we had been told earlier in the week that they were cooperating with federal authorities, that they, were, they had nothing to do with it. Next, when we find out the FBI has sort of surrounded his vehicle, asked his security deal to leave while they seize his phone and, and devices. I mean, we don't know what we're at the beginning of, but we know it does not look good. Yeah, I was going to say, as someone pointed out, um, you know, the lawyer, his lawyer said that he's cooperating with this investigation. But as someone pointed out, it doesn't seem like you're cooperating if the FBI has to come to you in the middle of the street, tell your security detail, step aside and grab your phone because they're afraid that you might be throwing your phone into the river. Unbelievable. I mean, I, you know, we like originally this, the, the original sort of stories about this investigation, it seemed was unclear clear how the mayor was involved. It right. seemed a little like small potatoes, a straw donor thing. What's this all about anyway? Now it seems really big and we just don't know like what they could be looking for. Yeah, it's going to be one of those uh, cases that we follow very closely. I'm sure you'll have more reporting on it in the coming weeks and months. Uh, David, it's great to see you. Thank you so much. As always, greatly appreciate it.